Although Tibet is isolated from what we consider the civilized world, we found a highly developed culture. People conduct themselves with dignity and restraint. Their features are finely proportioned, and the women are strikingly attractive. Hi everybody, this is Roger in Kansas City, and today we are looking at Mount Kailash. It's in southwestern Tibet. I will have information about it on the title page. Mount Kailash is very famous, I come to find out. It's a sacred mountain to a number of religions, most notably the Hindus, Buddhists, the people who practice Jainism, and the Bone, B-O-N, religion, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. The Bone is a pre-Buddhist religion. Anyway, the Hindus believe that the God of Gods, Lord Shiva, lives here on or within the mountain. The Buddhists call this the navel of the universe. This is the intersection between heaven and earth. We're going to take a closer look at a southern area next to the mountain right here. It's an incredible area. I would encourage anybody just to look this up on YouTube. There's, there are numerous videos about this area. Let's go to the first actual photograph of this. I was lucky enough to find this really awesome panoramic view of the area. This is the spot we were just looking at on Google Earth. As you can see, Google Earth distorts considerably. I can enlarge this a little bit. And this picture, even though it is a great view of the area, uh, it's been scrubbed out a little bit and I have more detailed views of this area but this is what we're going to look at here a little over in here and here just for this video you could probably make 10,000 videos of this area it's incredible if you watch my videos um, I, I try to to keep them interesting and varied um, this to me personally tops everything and anything I've ever seen there is something going on here it has been going on here for a very long time probably predates humans by hundreds of thousands of if not millions of years there this is an active area and I can totally believe religions are based on what's going on here because I'm about ready to convert after seeing what I have seen. Let's go to our first enhancement of this area. This first enhancement we're looking at is a different photograph than the one we were just looking at. This has better detail and more contrast. Uh, you can see it has snow cover on it. But you can tell just by looking from far away, this is just not some geological formation throughout here. This is beginning to look like something that's been intelligently designed. Let's take a closer look. This is the first enhancement I made of the area and really all I did was make it larger and I adjusted the lighting to bring out detail. You can see there's massive monumental carvings. When I say monumental, according to Google Earth, this is somewhere between 200 and 250 feet high. A person, a human being, would be a speck, a, just a tiny speck, like the, the very end of my arrow down there. You, you, I, I doubt you could see a person in this picture. They'd be so small. So let's go to the next enhancement. This next enhancement is a little larger and brighter and a a little more focused than what we just looked at. Again, we have these huge carvings. This looks like a, a male and female figure for sure. We have a, 
you can see what appear to be figures kind of at a an angle like they're monkeying around or something this figure wearing a tall hat having a discussion with this taller person over here um, holding their hand up right there numerous carvings all along the bottom around here which is probably in the 30 to 50 foot range it's uh it's just spectacular and I'm going to do more work on this, but I thought it was important to get out uh, in front of this with an initial video. I, I think a lot of people are going to start looking at this. Let's take a look at another photo of the area. Well, I said at the beginning of the video I was going to show some more detail, but I'm having some difficulties getting my enhancements to show up as clearly as I would like so I'm going to cut this video a little short um, this is a non enhanced video but you can clearly see without any close-up any work on it at all that there's some sort of carving statue without even trying to to find anything and one question is, how, how has this made it so long without making the internet? And I have looked and looked and looked to make sure that I was putting up something relatively fresh and new. Well, there will be more on this site. We're only looking at one side, and there's four sides of this mountain. And did I throw in, there's a lot of people who don't think this is a mountain, but it's an actual, someone built this. And after you look at if after you look at it for a while, it you you can kind of see where they're coming from, but I'm not going there right now. So let's leave off with one more picture. Let's leave off with these before and after pictures of the area. There there's just so much about this, I can't possibly squeeze it into to one video. And um, there'll be more. I think it's very exciting. I hope you like the video. I really hope you have some comments on this. I would like to hear your views on this. And I'm absolutely ready for the naysayers to beat the hell out of me on this, but I'm sticking with this one. Well, uh, but let me also say thank you for the people who subscribe and, and all the kind people that make this channel so wonderful to be a part of. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little flustered today. I, I, this, this thing has really got my mind tied up in knots. Okay, well, let's just leave it at that. Thank you for watching. This is Roger in Kansas City, where it's cold as you know what. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.